and hello everyone welcome back to another love 2d tutorial so in this tutorial we will be making a pretty cool game the game's name is asteroid so here's an example it's a little big let me just turn down the sound so everyone can hear me so here we basically have a new game a settings and a quit option and we can say new game, we can start a new game, it has faded, fading text, it has a working high score, it has a score, it, and it has lives. You can shoot things, and you can go to the next level, and then there will be more difficult times ahead. You can crash, and then you'll lose a life, and you can shoot things. Now this may look incredibly simple, but it is pretty complex, with a lot of things working inside of it let me just go out of invincibility mode and there we go then when it's game over you have a fading game over screen and if you have a high new high score it will save that high score and then boom here you go so that is what we will be working on in this tutorial for future reference if you ever do fall behind you can go to github and the link will also be in the description but you can go to github we need to YouTube project and then in here you can go to Lua and then the love 2d folder Inside of the love 2d folder You will have an asteroid game folder And in here you'll have all of the tutorials and you'll have some homework if you want to do it Now what do you need in a in order to start with this tutorial because some of you might be completely new first you need to know Lua. If we go Lua Crash Course and we search it on YouTube, then here at the top is my Crash Course, Steve's Teacher Full Lua Programming Crash Course. You will need to follow this course if you want to follow along. Of course, not all of the topics are necessary, but a lot of these topics are very handy to know about. And once you know this, it will be very smart of you to know a little bit about Love 2D. So Love 2D right here. And here we go. Now I recommend you know at least this one, this one, and this one. And then I would also recommend you follow the previous tutorial, Game Dev tutorial, where we created the Save the Ball game. This tutorial covers some really basic items from Love 2D. And if you follow the tutorial, then this tutorial that we're going to do now will be a lot easier to follow along. First, we need to create a folder for all our things. So I'm going to go to documents, going to go to my trash, and then I'm going to create a new folder and call it asteroids. I don't know if, how to spell asteroids, but I hope that's correct. Cool. Inside of this folder, and you didn't necessarily have to do it in your trash folder. I just have a trash folder for tutorials. And inside of this folder right here, you can create a new file. And you can call it main.lua. Now once you have created a file, you can open up VS Code in here. I wonder, can I open up? I can't open up from here. Anyhow, I can go here to my terminal. But you will probably have an up option to go here and just right click and say open in VS code or whatever code editor you use. We can then just say code, whoa, code dot to open up VS code here. And you should see something similar to this. We can close this folder here because we won't need it. Now take note, you do need love to the installed and Lua. So if you don't have those two installed, I do have a tutorial at least on how to install Lua. Then. Here we have our main.lua. If you also use VS Code, you can get the love to the extension right here. And you can also get the Lua extension right here. And you also load the bug if you want, but this is unnecessary. It will probably auto download anyways. Anyhow, now that you have that, everything is ready to go. Let's just set up a basic project. I think for today we don't have to go all out. So just local love is equal to require 
love, this is an optional step. You don't have to do this, but it is optional. Then we can create a function. We can call it love.load. And it's just a basic love to the setup. And we can create two more functions for update. I almost said delete here, but this should be a draw. Now, since we're starting off very basic, we're not going to do a lot. We only want to get everything up and running and maybe make sure everything works. If I were to run this by saying lab dot, and you can also use the VS code in build terminal. We're going to terminal, new terminal, and then you will have the same thing as what I have. And you can just say lab dot here as well. This is the same thing as what you just saw here. I just like this one more because it looks cooler. And then you'll see this. Pretty neat. We can then create a new file by clicking on this file icon here. And we can call it conf.lua. And here we can just say local love is equal to require love. Yet again, optional. You don't have to import love. Now you can say function love.conf to set up the config file, pass in the app, and we can say app.window.width, and you can make it any width you want. But I am going to make it equal to 128, 128, no, 1280 or 1280. Then as for the height, app.window.height, is equal to 720. For some of you, this might be too big. So just for reference, this is a 16 by nine aspect ratio we're working with. As long as you work with the same ratio, you don't have to change too much. For example, a 1080p resolution, this is 720p, but 1080p would be 1920 in width and in 1080 in height. As an example, this would be bigger, of course. If you want to go smaller, it should probably probably be around 480p, but you can Google a 16 by nine aspect ratio smaller than this. And of course, we want to set the title, app.window.title is equal to asteroids. And then lastly, we want to say app.window.display equal to now take note not all of you will benefit from this display i'm using here i have two monitors the one on my left which you cannot see and then the one on my right which you can see however i don't want the window to spawn on my left monitor which is probably display one i want to do display on this monitor so let's see does everything work and it does it's big boy and it has the asteroids title and it spawns on this monitor so this one here is optional these are also optional but i recommend using them because why not as for the window width and height i recommend 16 by 9 smaller size if you want but if you don't want to change the window height and width then you don't have to and that is the basic setup in the next tutorial We'll be implementing the player as a cursor and be drawing some few things to the screen. Thank you all for watching. I hope you all enjoy and will follow along. And I'll see you all again in the next Love2D tutorial.